Wow. What I learned about the Mormon religion was shocking. Joseph Smith was from Kirkland, Ohio. There was a guy named Michael Chandler. He was selling mummies and scrolls that were unearthed from Egypt. In March 1835, he arrived in Cleveland, Ohio, where his items were he was selling was advertised in a paper. He arrived in Kirkland, Ohio on July 30th, 1835, selling his relics for $2,400. Joseph Smith didn't have enough money to purchase it, so he got a few investors to help him. So what he was able to get was these um, scrolls, which he, they call it papyrus. And it was said to be information concerning Joseph and Abraham of the Bible. Okay, so he went to transcribe this information in this papyrus because it was written in Hebrew language or something. So as he was doing that... Uh, his congregation and everything started getting popular and growing. So in 1838, he established his own bank, but it went bankrupt. And when it went bankrupt, he fled by horse and set up sail in Illinois. So while he was in Illinois, he got married and is also where he introduced plural marriage. The thing is, how all of this was uncovered, he always kept a diary about his life and the things he did. So in 1842, he published his publication about the translation of the papyrus. This is when he went to Utah. He was assassinated. And once he was assassinated, a guy named Brigham Young took over. In the midst, while he was assassinated, his wife, going back to Joseph Smith's wife, he gave the she gave the papyrus away with a letter, indicating that it didn't that it did indeed belong to Joseph Smith. They eventually found this papyrus with the letter, authenticating that it was indeed his original. Uh, papayas and transcriptions they were found in 1966 in the new york museum so november 27 1967 they found other papers matching the papayas so some egyptologists got together and analyzed the papayas and the work that Joseph Smith did and the conclusion was the papyrus was basically a funeral doctor a funeral document about a religious Egyptian and it was not anything about Abraham or Joseph so unfortunately the religion uh, kind of went the wrong way because Joseph didn't he really didn't know how to translate it he just kind of winged it and for those of you who know the Mormons are also the latter day saints and he was calling himself a prophet unfortunately he's not a prophet but the latter day saints do have a lot of information that they have uncovered. They are the ones who kept the majority of the census around. You can normally find your ancestors by going through their their uh, directories or whatever because they did keep good records. That's one thing about Joseph Smith. He kept such good records. It unveiled his issues that he was having about the transcription of the papyrus.